Okay, we're going to look at a uh, concept for some of the strength work that we do um, through our routines here in ProMaya MMA. Um, the resistance that we're going to do uh, through these drills is designed to be 100% all the way through the range. So I'm going to jump in and give you a quick example straight away. For example, <coughs> a drill here that we would do mostly around the biceps for a little bit of uh, chest going on here as well is where Millsy would have to resist and I'd be pulling the arm out this way and then letting him pull it back up again from there <coughs> I'll explain a little bit more as we go now the uh, gyms that you can go to these days have some very fancy equipment where you can do a whole bunch of different um, styles of resistance training but none of them are as good as having an intelligent partner judging the resistance for you if you pick a really rudimentary um, resistance piece of training like a dumbbell on the bicep, what you have to do if you're going to do a full range, which is very beneficial to you, is pick a dumbbell that's light enough that you can get it through the weakest part of your um, muscle contraction here. And so you'll struggle to get it through this early part here, and then once it gets up to this part here, it becomes a bit easier. And you're not really engaging the muscle at its full capacity are at 100% once it gets up to this top area here. Now, of course you could pick a heavier dumbbell and just do short ranges from here so you're engaging the uh, stronger part of the muscular contraction and the leverage from here and go nice and heavy weights but then you're not getting a full range and you couldn't lift it through this part if you tried to do the full range. So when we're doing partnered work the reason why we're doing it and there's a whole bunch of different uh, exercises that we do like this but the reason primarily why we're doing this for strength is so that you can achieve 100% resistance all the way through the range of motion because I'm adjusting it perfectly to make sure that Mills is always working at his absolute maximum. Of course if you can get, engage the muscle groups at their absolute uh, maximum potential then you stimulate that muscle growth and your strength is going to increase. The second major benefit of doing it in this way is that we're um, simulating some of the submissions that you're going to get caught in. So from a psychological point of view, it's going to help you to um, feel a little bit more comfortable with being stuck in those positions, but also to give you some confidence that actually you do have some strength in those positions to resist long enough to affect an escape. So let's look at the <clears throat> one that we were just about to do. We'll do this um, entire drill as a, as a, separate, um, a separate video piece, this, this particular one. But for example, we might go with an elbow extension arm bar drill from here where we're um, trying to uh, get strength through the biceps. Mills would have to start against his chest and there's different ways you can do the count but it might be for example 10 seconds down, 10 seconds back up and then 10 second hold as you come back up. So from here we'd be counting to 10 and what I would be needing to do as we go through the 10 count is make Millsy work at absolutely 100% all the way through. So let's go for this so 10 seconds down, ready? One, two, three, Four, five here, I should be halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't want to break his arm off, so I'm going to stop there. And then I've got to loosen up the resistance a little to let him get back up. One, two, three, four, five. Again, halfway by five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back onto the chest. So it might be that we had a holding there as well, a static holding there. Another example is when we do an upward shoulder rotation, shoulder lock kind of position from here, so we could do exactly the same kind of thing, but instead of coming under to this full position like this, we're just going to simulate it out to the side. So I'm going to pin, Mills his elbow down, he's going to be stuck on the floor, he's got to come up to about 30 degrees for a count of 10, then we hold it maybe for a count of 10, depending on what counts we're going for, and then back down flat for a count of 10 for men. So a couple of uh, typical examples of the core strength exercises that we would do in Pro My MMA using a partner to ensure that you've got 100% resistance all the way through.